Hello everybody, my name is Drake, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get custom skin mods on the Steam version of Among Us. So, let's get right into it. Before you start downloading your mods though, keep in mind these three things. First, you're going to need a program to extract the files with. For example, I use WinRAR. If you don't have a program that does this already, I'll leave the link to WinRAR in the description for you to download. Second, the UABE will only work if the mod is a .emip file, and you'll understand what that means later on in the video. And third, other people in your game aren't going to be able to see the skins you have without the mods, so make sure your friends have the same mods you do so they can see what you see. With that being said, let's get on to the video. The first thing you want to do is to download the UABE, otherwise known as the Assets Bundle Extractor. Download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version based on the bits of your computer. So in this case, I'm going to be downloading the 64-bit version. After the download is finished, you want to download the mod of your choice. Here on Game Banana, there's plenty of mods and skins to choose from, but for this video, I'm going to be downloading the Sonic as a playable character skin. Go ahead and scroll down until you find the newest version of your mod, then click download. After your download is finished, you're going to want to extract both the UABE and the mod of your choice onto a place on your computer. So in this case, I'm going to drag both files to my desktop. Now from here, you want to highlight both the files, right click, and click extract here. Now you should be left with the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version of the UABE and the .emip file of the mod of your choice. Once you've extracted both files, you can delete the .rar files. And now, double click the folder, and open up the Asset Bundle Extractor. From here, click on File, click Load Package File, and now click the mod of your choice. So in this case, I'll be clicking sonic.emip, then click open. Now a new window should open up. From here, you want to go to your Steam library. Right click Among Us. Go to Manage, then click Browse Local Files. Then double click the data folder and copy the path above. From here, you can minimize the local files and close out of your Steam library. Then, you want to paste the path into this bottom bar. Then, check on the second box. Then click OK. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the last one. Then click OK. And now, you want to be able to convert the .emip into a .assets file. To do that, go to the top left and click on File. Then click Save. Now from here, go ahead and click Save for all the files. Now that you have both assets files on your computer, close everything regarding the UABE. And now for the last step, you want to drag both assets files into the Among Us data folder in your local files. Then click replace the files. From there, feel free to close out of any tabs that you have open and then launch the Among Us game. And if everything worked out correctly, the mod should be enabled. So as you guys can see, the Among Us default characters have been replaced with Sonic the Hedgehog. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If not, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day.